Wow. This week we're going to do something a little different, but not really. I've been working on another video on Revelation this week, this time on America's preoccupation with this book and how interpretations can have consequences. I bit off more than I could chew to accomplish that in one week, so I'm going to need more time to finish that video, so stay tuned for next week. I was also sick this past week. At first we thought it might have been COVID because my granddaughter has it and I was with her the day before she felt sick. I was tested and luckily I failed that test. What to do for this week's video? Well, my wife and I did two weekend mountain bike rides up in Muir State Park, about an hour from Colorado Springs. The aspen leaves were quaking in all their glory. It was so beautiful, I thought I'd share it with you as well. So even though we're gonna be doing a mountain bike ride, how is that the same as what I usually do? Well, we're gonna do a little bit of natural theology this week. Hiya. Sure, why not? Thank, Thank you. you very much. Genesis tells us that when God created the earth, after each event of creation, he stepped back and looked at it and said, damn, that's good. If creation is good enough for God, who am I to argue? Start of the trail. Okay, you want me to leave? Okay. Ooh la wee! Wow! W. E. Muir bought up the rights for 10 of these homesteads and consolidated them into his ranch. The Muir family later designated the ranch to be preserved as a game reserve and then it was purchased by the state of Colorado as a state park. Look at the leaves, they're just lit up. You keep thinking, okay, it can't get prettier. That's incredible. Okay, this is a steep down. <laughs> Tires are just sliding in that gravel. This hill is steep enough, my wife has to grab the brakes on the bike and walk down it. It's a wall. Wow, look at this view. Huh. 
That's the back side of Pikes Peak over there. We're in the Cheeseman Park section of New York State Park now. Cheeseman Ranch, that is. This is Cheeseman Ranch here. All part of New York State Park. The area of New York State Park was once a favorite hunting ground for the Ute Indians. Then in the 1870s, it was settled by a few homesteaders. When gold was discovered in Cripple Creek around 1900, this area exploded to over 50,000 people living in and around Cripple Creek. Most of what is now North State Park was clear cut for timber for the mining industry during that period. Okay, where are we at? We're at 12 and 26. Yeah, they're beautiful. Hi, yeah. Uh, they, they gotta check you out as they go by. Look at the Aspen. I had to pause for a Kodak moment here. The aspens are really quaking right now. You can see them on the whole hillside over there. Backside of Pikes Peak there. Dropping down into that steep little valley there. This must be school pie. Goodbye, lunch spot. You were wonderful. Now we gotta get up there. these hills back in here they're almost walls there's one of the old homestead cabins this park is either all uphill or downhill very little flat terrain and there's steep hills too this is the old, uh, one of the old homesteads back here. You can see this old stove they brought in. Not very big though. And they've got an artesian spring just right up over there. It's most of these homesteaders only lasted a few years before abandoning their efforts and moving to one of the nearby towns. It's a really steep hill and she's just busting it. Absolutely spectacular.
He's in one of the bigger pines. Yeah. That's really beautiful. This is one of Colorado's secret gems. It's absolutely stunning. No matter what trail you take, you're rewarded with amazing vistas around every twist and turn. And it reminds me of how important it is to preserve and protect the environment that we live in. It's amazing. Oh, there's the visitor center. There's Doug Doug. Bikes all loaded. Time to say goodbye to Muir Park with helmet hair. I hope you enjoyed that mountain bike tour around Muir State Park to see the change of leaves. It was phenomenal being up there. He almost lost his dad.